yeah, you see that right there? That's the Logitech G920 driving force racing wheel for Xbox One and PC. And let me tell you, only grab this thing if you're looking for a real ride. Now it's pretty hard not to be impressed with the Logitech G920 right after you take it out the box. I mean it screams high quality. From the stainless steel to the genuine leather wrapped around the wheel, this thing definitely doesn't look or feel cheap at all. Now while on the wheel, what's great is you have full access to game controls thanks to an operational D-pad, console buttons, and there's even paddle shifters on the back which are super comfortable for manual shifting. The included floor pedal unit allows you to brake, hit the gas, and switch gears just like if you were in a real car. There's even a dedicated clutch for racers looking for a challenge. Put all that together and I'd say that you have a pretty impressive setup. Alright, so I was pretty worried that putting this thing together would be a little too much, but I found that it actually isn't too bad at all. But everything does have a cable. The pedal unit plugs into the back of the wheel and so does the power cable. Yeah, you gotta plug this thing into an outlet, it gets that serious. But at least you can do a little cable management thanks to the slots on the bottom, which I'll say is a nice touch. The wheel slides onto a table and has two knobs that you have to twist and then can push down to lock into place. While I probably recommend using something a little more sturdy than a TV tray, I've gotta say the clamps on this thing still made it work and decently well at that. While I knew the tray would move, I was always pretty sure that the wheel wasn't going to. After that, plug in the USB into your console and the wheel is good to go. I mean the setup can feel a little bit obnoxious if you tear it down after every session, but even so, it's not that bad. Once powered, the wheel will calibrate itself, and like that, it's time to race. For a hardcore Forza player or even Project Cars, when you play with the Logitech G920, you gotta understand, you start from ground zero. It's completely different than playing with a controller, which you would assume, but it's not even just okay hit the gas and steer. No, from the get go, the whole force factor part about the wheel comes into play and shows just why you're paying $399 to get your hands on this thing in the first place. The weight of the steering, you feel that. The bumps in the road, you feel that. Under oversteer, yeah, you feel those too and it'll throw you off at first. It will. When I first started playing, I felt the wheel moving so much, I thought, okay, maybe some assists are on in the game doing work for me. But that was actually the wheel moving realistically and telling me to grab a hold of it and take control. And once you commit and take some time to practice, you'll find that this thing is serious business and serious fun as well. Featuring dual motor force feedback, this wheel goes through a lot, but two things really stuck out to me. A, its accuracy, and B, the quality in its build. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of racing wheels can tend to over exaggerate things during gameplay and be pretty loud in the process. The G920 truly moves with the game and I really hardly ever heard it at work, which is pretty crazy with as complicated the technology is in this thing. Now adjusting the height of the pedals without having to use a specific hex key would be nice, but there's not much else to gripe about really. The G920 has a lot to offer racing gamers looking for a true simulation experience. There's even an optional driving force shifter that matches the quality of the wheel and pedals and brings a 6 speed gear selector to the table for 60 bucks. But that's just it, with the wheel and then the add-on, you spent over 460 bucks, and most likely that's more than or just about the same you paid for the Xbox One you're playing with it on. While the Logitech G920 is nice and delivers a lot at its value, its price range limits itself to a pretty tight market. It will make your favorite racing games that much better, and it does seem to have a build quality that's built to last. I guess at this point deciding whether or not it's worth the cash for such a luxury is as intense as the races will be if you choose to do so.